everybody welcome back we have a really fun video for y'all today I'm sharing two new recipes both of them are only four ingredient recipes okay on the second one it is four ingredient but I added a little something something to half of it sorry pause mainly I have clothes on the table that I'm folding and he's got his pants pants but you're wearing your overalls today Boop, boop. Okay, we had to handle the overall dilemma. Now we're gonna get on to these recipes. I actually made both of these in one night. The first one is a meatball bubble up bake and the second one is like a supreme pizza style bubble up bake. I kind of made this one up. I saw the idea for a pizza one on Pinterest and I was like, I really love Italian sausage and like supreme pizza. So what if we made an Italian one with just four ingredients, but then, you know, you could add whatever toppings you want to. So that's what we did. In the video, I keep calling it the Italian bubble up bake, but it's really more like a supreme pizza bubble up bake. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First up is the meatball one. Okay, we've got our nine by 13 sprayed. I'm gonna sit it over to the side. Now we get the biscuits ready. We have one can of Pillsbury Grands. I got the buttermilk kind and this is the 16.3 ounce can so ooh, sorry we're gonna open these up and cut them into eights each one into eights these two are wanting to stick together here this is like there we go i just remembered i got that pizza cutter the other day let's cook manly saying let's cook you want to cook something this was only a dollar from walmart as we can see it's very sturdy and everything. <laughs> okay, Cece's gonna do these two over here with a butter knife. Go ahead. You cut it, you're making eights, yeah. Okay, we're bringing back the nine by 13. Now this recipe said to mix these in a bowl with the sauce. We're just gonna do it in here. That way we don't have to mess up a bowl for this part. So I'm just gonna spread them out. I'm just gonna pour the sauce. I may only need one jar of this pasta sauce. I got two just in case, but we may just need this one jar. I'm gonna put just a little bit more sauce here. I think, yeah, I think we only need one jar of pasta sauce. Um, I still have some left in here, but I'm gonna go ahead first and put the, man, he's playing with his little, uh, is that his turtle? His turtle behind us here. Um, yeah, it's a turtle. I'm gonna go ahead and put the meatballs and then we'll pour some more sauce over the meatballs. This also said, it didn't say what size bag of meatballs. So I don't know if we'll be able to get all of these in here or not we'll see I have a 32 ounce bag and I got the Italian style great value Italian style meatballs so we're just gonna place them all over the top here you want to help with this part sissy oh, yeah you just put the meatballs on there you go just put them all over. yeah just put them all over the top we could go in a straight line but life's too short let's get these meatballs in the pan <laughs> Now I'm just gonna take the rest of this sauce, and just drizzle it over the top. We like a lot of sauce. The recipe only said to use, I think a cup and a half, but we like a lot of sauce, so we're just gonna use the whole jar. The last thing is the mozzarella cheese, so we're just gonna sprinkle it over the top. And of course, you could add more stuff to this if you want to. We're just going with simple four ingredient here. When I get to the next one though, I'm gonna show y'all how to do it the four ingredient way, but on half of it, I am gonna jazz it up a little bit. This one has to bake a little bit longer because it's got the frozen meatballs in it. So I'm gonna cover it with foil. It's gonna bake for 40 minutes at 375. And then we remove the foil and it bakes for 10 minutes uncovered. For the next one, we do have to cook up some Italian sausage first. So I have one pound of Italian sausage This time, we're only gonna cut the biscuits into fours instead of eights. Some people bang them up against the counter, hit the counter and see if it does it. 
Try to hit it right. No, no, no. Oh, well, you got it. There you go. You did it. Let's snap these into fours. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Once again, we spray. Now we put in the biscuits. Now we're pouring over the pizza sauce, which I already opened it and it leaked out a little bit everywhere. Here we go. Now we put down some mozzarella cheese and now the Italian sausage. Now, if you wanna leave it for an ingredient, you can stop here and all you have to do is add more mozzarella cheese on top. So that's what we're gonna do on this half. We just add a little more mozzarella cheese. But over here, because I know this is gonna be really good, we're gonna add a little bit more stuff. We're gonna put some pepperoni and you can just use, you know, whatever you have on hand. Now we're gonna put some banana peppers. Some red onion. I actually chopped this up for the hot dogs the other night and we didn't use them all, so we're gonna use them here. Now I'm gonna put just a few black olives on one part of this because Jonah loves black olives. and He loves the peppers and the onions and all, so I know he'll love this side. Now we just finish off this side. Oh yeah, Cece's gonna do this part with some more mozzarella cheese. This side. The only thing I'm worried about this one is that we may not have enough sauce. It, it said to only use one jar of pasta sauce on the original recipe. I mean, not pasta sauce, pizza sauce. We'll see when it gets done. If we need to add more sauce, I do have more pasta sauce we can use, or I think I might even have some marinara sauce in the refrigerator. All right, now this one goes in the oven for 30 minutes, uncovered. While they're finishing up, I'll clean up my mess. And the good thing is, since I did the one that takes the longest first, they should get done around the same time. All right, y'all, the Italian one is done. It only took about 25 minutes in my oven at 375, so just maybe start checking yours around 20 minutes or so and see. But yeah, this one just took about 25 minutes. It smells so good. The meatball one does too. It still has about 10 more minutes, so I took the full off of the top of it now and it's gonna cook uncovered for 10 minutes and then they'll both be ready. I'm gonna make some salads to go with them. I'm really excited about this part over here of this one. Very excited. <laughs> The meatball one is done. We're gonna let it cool down just a little bit and we are ready to eat. Let us know right now which one do you think is gonna win? Which one do you think will be everybody's favorite? The meatball one or the Italian one? Yeah. Okay, y'all, I'm here to tell you that I was very, very surprised that that four ingredient bubble up bake was so good, both of them. Both of them were very, very good. Everybody loved the meatball one. The only thing I would do different about the meatball one is probably only cut the biscuits into fours next time instead of eights. Cutting them into eights, they got kind of, I don't really wanna say mushy, they weren't mushy. I did add extra sauce though. So that, that could have been why mine were a little extra soft but it wasn't a lot of extra sauce only probably about a fourth of a cup maybe half a cup and i put it on top of the meatball anyway 
that could have been the deal but i really think cutting it up into the eighths made it i don't know it just made it where the bread wasn't as you know thick and fluffy the pizza one though that almost tasted just like a deep dish pizza y'all it was amazing i was surprised titus really liked that one i thought he would be all about the meatball one no he loved that pizza one. he kept talking about how much that pizza one tasted like a real deep dish pizza it was so good especially the side where we put the onions and the peppers and all that i would definitely make that again it's very fast the pizza one especially it's only 30 minutes i mean you just put everything in the pan mine only took 25 minutes in the oven and boom throw a salad with it you got supper these kind of recipes are perfect for back to school time because everything's busy. You could even possibly prepare it the morning before and then when you get home, just stick it in the oven. You know, put it in the refrigerator and then stick it in the oven. Let us know if any of y'all have ever done that before with a bubble up bake. Have you made it ahead of time? Because I'm not sure how the biscuits would do. I don't know how they would hold up, you know, being covered in the sauce and all that long and then baking. But yeah, I have seen people make bubble up bakes and I've seen recipes for them on Pinterest before, but I would always be like, oh, I don't know if that would be any good with the canned biscuits. I don't know. I decided to try it and I'm glad I did because I'm telling y'all, it is good. I was pleasantly surprised. Also, if y'all want more bubble bake, bubble bake recipe ideas, bubble up bake, if you want more of these, a couple of my fellow YouTube friends made some bubble up bakes recently, so I'll link their videos down below. All right, y'all, so that's gonna be it for today's video. It's actually the next day now. We're about to have lunch. Guess what we're having? Leftover bubble up bake. There's only a little bit left over though of the pizza one, which was my favorite, but that's okay. 